Hey what's going on guys welcome to the seventh video of the series on getting started with reloadly i am junaid maksood and let's jump right into it So previously on the series we talked about commissions and how you can use them in your own projects if you haven't checked the series yet do give it a watch it will give you a boost on how to get started with reloadly platform we have covered all aspects of the platform and we plan on covering much more so don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon now that that's out of the way let's get to the today's video today we will cover promotions and how you can use them to provide even more to your own customers we will be looking into the dashboard to view the promotions that are offered and then we will also look at the api and how you can integrate them into your own projects promotions can help you make additional revenue and even give your customers the push they need to make the purchase let's switch to our dashboard and head to the promotions page Here we have a list of all the promotions that are currently active on the platform. You can filter the promotions by countries. However, the API lets you do much more. You can go further to even filter via operator ID. Now let's switch back to the documentation and check out all the endpoints that we have for promotions. So we have the promotions endpoint to list all the promotions that are currently active. We can get a promotion by ID by country code or even by the operator id so let's switch back to the application that we're developing so today what i want to do is create a new page for the promotions where we will display all promotions that are active i also want to create a single page for the promotion where we will display all the details of the promotion and then we will head to the country page and fetch all the promotions that are active within that country and then also edit the operator page and have all the promotions for that operator so let's get right into the development part let's create a new page for our promotions we'll simply create a copy of the discounts page call it promotions and simply switch the endpoint now let's make the appropriate changes to our code So let's check out the response in the documentation. So for each promotion, we're getting the promotion ID, the operator ID, multiple titles, the start date and the end date and so much more. So let's simply show the title of the promotion. Let's add this page to our header and give our app a refresh let's head to the promotions page mm, so we're getting some error ah oh, the endpoint is wrong let's also change the name of the page let's try that great so we have a complete list of all the promotions that are currently active in the platform so instead of having them in two columns let's just increase this to a single line so we have it in single line there so now let's make these clickable and when the user clicks on a promotion we're gonna show all the details of that promotion okay let's create the promotion page now we'll simply copy the country page promotion now we're getting the id in get let's just change that and change the endpoint and just make appropriate changes to our code let's remove this so let's show all these details in table Let's remove this code. Let's refresh and see if everything's working fine or not. Let's click on any promotion. Great. So we have all the details for this promotion. So our promotion page is done. Now let's head back to the country page and add promotions for that country. So we're simply going to append the page 
create a new heading for promotions and then list all the promotions so let's add another call to the promotions by country code endpoint let's create a copy of this promotions and promotions response promotion let's simply show what we have shown here let's try that so we don't have promotions for this country let's try a different country so there we go this is working so we have a country and all the operators within that country and we also have all the promotions within that country now let's head back to the operator page and we'll do the same thing so we want to have all the promotions for this operator let's do that so we'll edit the operator page I'll simply copy this code add the call here and change the endpoint great let's copy this have it below the table let's try that great so we have all the promotions for this operator so we've seen all the neat ways to show promotions on your website you can get all the promotion that is supported by the platform you can get a promotion detail from its id you can get promotions for any country or even promotions for any operator we have come much further from where we started I would highly recommend watching the complete series from start where I explain everything in much detail. So in the next video we're going to talk about transactions and how you can track everything that is being done on your account at the Reloadly platform. Don't forget to give this video a like to let us know that you enjoyed learning about the platform. Let us know in the comments below on what we should cover next. I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned.